Hello guys, <coughs> how are you? My name is Jane and this is my first tutorial about Blender 3D. Blender 3D is a free and open source software that you can use for any purpose. You can <coughs> sorry. You can download from their official website on blender.org slash download and you can choose blender file for your operation system like for windows <coughs> for mac or for linux but um a little uh, advice if you linux user you can just search blender directly from software manager then you just click install install button Okay, um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna give you a little insight about Blender 2.77 user interface. I have Blender installed here. Now, let's just see. This is, when you open Blender, this is the first window that, we, that will show you all the links, donation, credit, and manual. Just click and it will disappear. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, um, in this default user interface, you will see On, let's just start from right sidebar. Here is what they say um, outliner. This is outliner. If you click here, this is outliner. <coughs> All object you created will show here. Um, this is if you familiar with other 3D software like SketchUp or AutoCAD, this is the use of this window is like layer but not exactly layer in Blender. This window can just click here and click the eye sign here and it will disappear. If you click <coughs> the arrow here, you can select the object. If you click render, rendering here, this is like in this is have um camera, but this is a render. So when you render a scene, the cube object won't, won't be render okay next we have <coughs> property this is all where you can when <coughs> when you have object you can this is where uh, material and texture and then some modifier let's just try i'm gonna prefer see so and then the rendering option here and then if you press N on the shortcut, it will show you like uh, a new panel that show you a dimension of the object. If you want to uh, put um, an exactly number like this, can 
see I'm sorry this is all the panel <coughs> panel that you can use but I'm not really use this panel a lot I'm just use this for yes the option that I will use a lot from this panel is scale dimension and rotation not 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 exactly but lock to camera view is one of the tool that I use a lot now on the bottom we have timeline and playback but this is only you can only use this on if you rendering or working on animation scene on the left we have a tool self window where you can create a new object from here like this there's a lot of way if you want to create a new object you can you know from you can press from keyboard shift a and the option show up or you can just click here and it's show up now um on the bottom we have um 3d menu 3d view mostly you will use this panel when you work in editing mode like this one maybe you can see So the option is display here. On the below, we have a timeline and playback menu window. You only use this window when you working on animation scene. Now let's just say if you don't like um, the default user interface that all look gray and you want to put some color of course you can do that in blender just click file click user preferences and then click them them tab and then in preset you can choose all the option here Let's just see how it works when I choose one of these options. See, it's changed. Then try another. It, it changed again. And then this one. Uh, oh, I like this. Mm. I probably will make it default <coughs> we'll see science lab yes now it's just soft image let's just try this step, this one and then what about if you let's let's make it this default and what about if you want to change the color of the outliner window you only can do that in one way which is you see the this one you click outliner and then choose window background you will see it's changed see it's pretty cool huh 
Let's just say this pastel color. And then you want to change maybe this one, the property. You click, look for properties. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Then window, background. Mm, see? It's changed. You also can change the text. Let's just see. And then what about your 3D view now? If you want to change the, the look on 3D view, this window, this one, just go to <coughs> 3D view option and look for gradient height of and then just See, you can see in the background it's changed. There you go. And let's just say you already have um, a theme and color you want. Don't forget to save user setting. Click here and then close button. And if you want this show up every time you open a new file of Blender, you can just click on this option, file, save startup file and click here. So now every time you open a new file, this display will show up. Let's just try. New. See? Let's just close this and open the one. See? Your theme and color display as you like. Now, um, what about if you want to resize? You also can resize by dragging the border. Make sure the double and arrow show up and you just here. You also can split window by click on this sign see and if you want to make it disappear you just right click and join area point which one you want to join you can make like I say a new window just like this Choose which one you want, the properties, or maybe just say editor, image editor. And if you want to make it disappear, just right click and join area point mm. upward, and then yeah. Oh, and if you want to change the font of the window you can just um, point your cursor on the window and if you're on desktop you just click plus see it's plus sign on the keyboard or and, and, and it will resize the, the size of your phone 
like this right so that's it um maybe my next video will discuss and give you um a little insight about specific 3d view how it works make it zoom pen you know but let's just discuss that on next video bye